Dear friends in Jesus Christ, have you waited for something and for somebody in life? I'm sure, I'm sure all of us have experience of waiting. Waiting at the bus stop, ticket counters, railway station, government offices and business centers. When we miss our chance, we get frustrated and we wait for another. Our waiting turns into joy when we wait for someone whom we love and who loves us. The Mother Church invites us to enter into such expectations. Season of Advent invites us to awake, alert and await. How do we plan to prepare ourselves for the Lord during the season of Lent? Prophet Isaiah calls upon the people to go up to the mountain of the Lord. Concretely, a good life consists in leaving aside the works of darkness. Saint Paul gives some examples of work of darkness. Those are drunkenness, licentiousness, quarreling and jealousy. What are the works of darkness in me? Is it self-centered life? My culture, my language, my people? Or darkness of indifference to the society? Or darkness of corruption, bribe and unjust exploitations? Definitely, these deviations hinders us to be ready to recognize and receive the Lord. How can we prepare ourselves? St. Paul insists and persists the Christians to put on the armor of light, that is, Christ himself. During this season of Advent, we are called to shape our outlook into that of Jesus and our waiting will be meaningful only when we change our outlook and perspective and wait upon those who wait for mercy and compassion. Let us ask ourselves, are we ready to accommodate the migrants, the sick, the poor and the elderly in our houses? Let us pray that we may listen to the voice of God and be attentive to his coming in those who are suffering and marginalized by the society.